Hey YouTube, this is Cleve from the hit podcast Friendship Supreme, and today I'm trying something a little different with my copy of Madden. You know, there are quarterbacks out there that had a good start, but due to whatever, they don't start now and never got a fair chance. In today's video, I am taking one of these quarterbacks and trying to make it to the Super Bowl. I looked at the roster of Madden 20, and I decided that Robert Griffin III himself should be the one to get back out there. I've always liked Robert Griffin. I always thought he was a great player. He won the Heisman playing for Baylor and was drafted in 2012 to the Washington now known football team. He had a really great rookie season and led Washington to its first division win since 1999. He was off at the rookie of the year and went to the Pro Bowl, but he was injured during the playoffs and injuries just kind of plagued him. He ended up losing his position of Kirk Cousins. And then ended up signing to Cleveland Browns, where unfortunately he was still in and out of injuries. And then finally joined Baltimore in 2018. Since 2021, he's now a an football analyst for ESPN, which is awesome. But I want to get him back out there and give him one last shot. I set the league setting, 15 minutes, just like a real game, and no automatic start. I'm going to earn my spot. The first game of the preseason is when I learned the struggle I will be in in this challenge. I actually make a couple of plays, throwing a touchdown and running for a couple of yards here and there. Josh Allen sacked me eight times. Oh, this is going to be tough. I go through all the practice because I need to, because I need the experience to build up Robert Griffin. Then... I do my job, holding the ball for the kicker. I also find it interesting that people talk trash to me as the backup quarterback. Like, calm down, dog. Who messages the backup and talks trash? Lamar Jackson stays healthy all season, so that's just what I do. I practice, I keep getting better, and I hold the ball for the kicker. This is me. This is Robert Griffin III's job for now. Also, Anytime I can talk trash to Ben Roethlisberger, as a Ravens fan, I do it. The Ravens end up 8-8, eight and eight, missing the playoffs, and I ask to be released from the team. The challenge is about to really start. If a team doesn't offer you a job before you start the next season, you're forced to retire. Luckily, the Titans offer me a two-year, $5.18 million deal. I have two years to try to make this happen. Next is the draft. Titans were 6-10 and 10 in the previous year. If they draft a quarterback, there's a chance I could be the backup again. Yay for me, there's a pretty good draft that might help RG3 hit greatness. Preseason wasn't great, and week 1 shows my rating, but we win with me throwing 0 TDs. Week 2, I gotta stop my own interception. And we lose Henry for the game. Still get the win, though. Now, we all know the monster that is Derrick Henry. We've seen highlights. We've seen him in action. Absolute beast. Except in all Madden. All Madden, you get this. He slides down and avoids the hit. Week three, I make some plays, but not enough, and we sit at two and one. Week four, open receiver. Hit Y, right? Nope. We go two and two. Week five, little luck involved. Nice pass.
Matt and Henry being Matt and Henry. We win going three and two and being AFC Offensive Player of the Week. Week six, we lose Henry early. And lose the game. Week 7, I would just like to take a moment to talk about Adam Humphreys. He was a player that really helped me during this challenge. Week 9, beautiful deep pass. Bit of a lucky TD pass. Fiftieth career touchdown. Close game, but still a loss. Probably due to JJ's six and a half sacks. Week 10 speaks for itself. Lost, probably due to Chubb's seven sacks. Offensive line gets a little rough on these. Week 11, great play. Great play. Great play. Surprising loss. Week 12, we got an open wide receiver. Loss. Week 13, we don't we don't need the highlights. We lost. Week 14, we got a smooth move. Still lost, even though I was player of the week. Week 15, we reach. 3,000 passing yards. But, fun pick, three for the game. Week 16, worst game I've had since I started this challenge for this season. Week 17, great run, great block. Lost, end of the season, 4-12. and 12. Made the Pro Bowl though, but look at this lady talk shit. Rude. 
one MVP, 278 completions out of 530 attempts, 18 touchdowns, 38 interceptions, 3,474 yards. Shout out to Harold Landry III and Adoree Jackson for best linebacker and defensive back. Now, season two of my contract, no quarterback drafted, new head coach in Sean McVay, preseason one and three, better than last year. Week one versus Arizona. Doesn't go great, as you see. Three interceptions, lost. 0-1. Week 2 doesn't go better, despite the amazing pass you're about to see right here. He could go all the way. Lost to Houston, we're already sitting at 0-2. Uh, week three doesn't go well, but I'm going to say that's probably because there's two men that have seven sacks each. Uh, 22 sacks for the whole game. Week four, deep pass. Lost. Lots of sacks. Week five, more L's. 0 oh and 5. Great, great start. Then... Week six, we get our first win despite no touchdowns thrown. I know this play doesn't look like that's what's going to lead to, but look at that beautiful run. Week seven, another win. We're getting momentum. Look at this nonsense. Nobody will say it, I'll say it. Man cheats. Week eight, also win. Sitting at four and five. Week 9, another win. Week 11. Another win. We got a season, ladies and gentlemen. Week 12, win. Week 13, a tough win over Buffalo. We beat Steelers in the 14th week. No, I love that. Got caught by Miami and Oakland in week 15 and 16, unfortunately. And we end the season with one last loss, but we ended up 9-7. and seven. And I'm going to the playoffs. We're in the wild card against Buffalo, who we beat week 13, keep that in mind. Although I feel good, it's 31-28. With one minute left in the fourth quarter. Time's running low. I know that I need to go field goal range. It's a slow march. It's tricky because I can only control myself going out of bounds. We make it to field goal range. We make the field goal, but in overtime, we can't score. Buffalo gets the ball. That's it. My season's done. And I want to be honest with you. I'm a little crushed. I'm MVP again, second year in a row. Pro Bowl again, but who cares? That's not the goal. I was trying to get to the Super Bowl. It's over. It's done. I had fun. That's all that matters. I... One more chance.
looks like the Falcons don't draft a quarterback, I suit up and get back out there. Funny enough, in the preseason we go 0-1-4, while my previous team goes 4-0. <laughs> Maybe that was the problem, but I mean, two-time MVP. Week 1, we drop a win versus Tampa, our division rival. Super close, one touchdown pass. Good enough. Week 2... Well, you know. Five interceptions. Week three, we beat the Ravens. That feels good. One of our previous teams that we played for. Get out of here. Player of the week. Big, big turnaround from week two. Week four was an easy L versus the Rams. Uh, Aaron Donald had six interceptions, three defensive touchdowns. Not a good start. Week five. A dub with a little dash of luck. Week seven. Sometimes you just throw to Julio Jones. That's what I've learned by playing with the Falcons. I don't know why they couldn't figure it out. Sometimes you just throw to Julio Jones. Look at this BS. Look at this BS right here. Unbelievable. I've said it and I'll keep saying it. Madden cheats. Week 8, all Madden. This run, right? Then look. Does this not look like a late hit to you? Let me tell you, during this challenge, the ref gave me zero flags like this. Anybody that plays Madden knows, if it's you, that's getting called. Week 9, I did a lot of running. Some bad. Some great. Week 10, make a great run. Make a man lose his shoes. But I lost the shootout against the Saints. It's another loss in the books. Week 11, I need you to watch this footwork. Chef kiss. Then we move on to week 12, where uh, Geno Atkins ruined my life. Now, let's talk about week 13 against the 49ers. Look at this X-Factor superstar lineup. What am I supposed to do here? A lot of them were even on defense. Week 14 felt really good for Robert Griffin III. Shout out to this receiver in his first career touchdown catch. But unfortunately, lost to a field goal. Now, week 15 is a very important week. At this point, if you're keeping track, I'm 6-6. Six and six. 
I need to win this to stay alive in the playoffs. I'm making plays, but Bobby Wagner, man, he is dangerous. I decided to run on 3rd and 12. Don't make it to the first down. It's 4th and 1. It's the 4th quarter. And there's 4 seconds left. Down by a full goal. I can at least go into overtime. I'm on the 4 yard line. And during the simulation, the computer misses the field goal. At this point, I'm devastated. This loss hurts. And honestly... It's the turning point for the whole season. Spoiler alert. I'm officially under 500. Two field goal attempts and missed both. The one over 50 is okay. But the one inside 20? This is, this is what you're paid for. We went on week 16. Week 17 was fun. But we still get the win, but 8-8 eight eight in our division's third place, and we missed the playoffs. I simulated through the playoffs, and I finally made the Pro Bowl again, despite this lady's effing attitude. MVP, Offensive Player of the Year again. I know I sound sad about it, I should be like, I did well. But again, it's not the goal here. I lose my job, and that's that. Game over. How do you guys think I did? Wait, 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 wait. Lines offer? Is there a chance to make this challenge work? One year? 2.6 mil? I have to accept, right? I can't turn it down. I go into the season and I'm currently not starting, but I'm used to coming from the bottom. Injury. Training. I can close the gap. And they draft a quarterback. First round, second overall. I am officially a third string quarterback. I play quote-unquote, the whole season, and never touch the field. Lions go 7-9. I sent them to the playoffs. No Pro Bowl. No fourth straight MVP. Didn't even get to hold the ball for the field goals. Lions cut me, and unfortunately, that's it, everyone. I don't get another offer. I retire, never getting my ring. This was fun, but super frustrating. But what do you guys think? Did you enjoy this, at least? Do I deserve the Hall of Fame? I could do this again. With, I don't know, the Jets' Tim Tebow, the current Cam Newton, Marcus Mariota, Jamarcus Russell, what was his name, Deshaun Kaiser? There's potential for this to be a series, but I need to know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, am I goaded? Should I do another challenge? Thanks for watching. I appreciate your time. Have a good one.